The hand node on are a great way to use motion controls to manipulate objects around the game world, but sometimes you want to grab and move objects in a more immersive way that doesn't have to involve motion control. This idea is inspired by a comment by Rocky the Core, who specifically mentioned the Portal series and how you can grab and move objects in it. So that's what we're going to build today. We'll start by getting rid of these hand node on and their associated buttons. So that leaves us with a box and a companion cube texture on it and a simple person with a first person camera. We'll add in the head node on and a box. We're gonna use this box as a sort of scaffolding to hold the grab position, which is in front of the camera. We're gonna do that in this case by giving it a connection point of sensor center in a size of X1, Y1, and Z2. We'll set it to only movable for now also. Then we're going to add in two teleports, taking up channels A and B, and attach those to the box. This whole method should only cause you to use up two of your teleport channels, regardless of how many objects you want to hold. Next, we're actually going to add in a golf ball, but you can substitute any round or square fancy object. We'll set it to movable only with a position of Z negative, Z positive, so that it is in front of that box, with a size of 0.8 on all three axes. The reason that we're adding this golf ball is so that we can detect if the holding position is making contact with the object that we want to hold, so that we can let the game know whether we're able to grab it or not. Our A channel teleport exit is going to be used for holding an object. So we'll set the connection point to Z negative, Z positive, and set the teleport physics to reset so that it resets to that same position every frame. Teleport channel B will be for throwing or kicking the held object away from the player. For this teleport exit, we're going to want a connection point of Z negative, Z positive, but with a force of 10 in the Z positive direction. That's it for working on the grabbing mechanic that's attached to the head node on. Now we'll move on to the box and making it grabbable. We'll attach two teleport entrances to the box. One will correspond to the held channel A and one will correspond to the throwing channel B. Then we'll add a touch sensor to the box that's set to detect the golf ball with a connection point of center center and a size that's slightly larger than the box. In this case, we'll use 1.2 all around. Then you'll need a button to hold an object and a button to throw an object. We'll use ZL to hold and ZR to throw. We'll add in two anodons to handle whether we're holding the object or throwing it. If the touch sensor is active and we press the hold button, we want to use teleport channel A. And if the touch sensor is active and we press the throw button, we want to use teleport channel B. And it works really well. It holds the box up to where it would be if you were to actually hold it in front of you and it adjusts to your camera view. You can't hold and throw at exactly the same frame, but you can let go and then throw really soon after. You can do things like catch objects out of the air this way and play around with the physics. It's really easy to make multiple holdable objects. You just copy this original object and use the same teleport channels. So we're only occupying two for as many holdable objects as you want. This solution is not perfect because it has some weird unavoidable bugs. When you're using the teleport exit to hold an object, it's constantly being reset. So it can easily clip into the floor or walls. There isn't really a way to avoid this that's easy to implement. I think this is a pretty cool and robust feature that you can use for physics puzzles and the like, and it's got me a little inspired to try and make portal style levels, which might be fun.